focus focus maybe if i pretend like santa's face is my face it'll focus on the candle and then again maybe not shake up a martini pull up a chair and let's go thrifty this is mid-century wasting Welcome to Mid-Century Wasted. I'm Jamie. Thank you for joining me today. And I forgot to do an intro to this video. So here we are in front of my lovely paint by numbers. This was an estate sale that I very spontaneously decided to go to. I had a free moment without kids. I don't even remember where Blake took the kids actually. I have no idea. I saw there was an estate sale. I had an opportunity and I took it. The pictures online of this estate sale didn't look like anything all that special, but there was a few things that looked interesting and um, I just wanted to get out of the house. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you along with me. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping and then I'll meet you back here at the end. So enjoy. Jeez. 
these.
Okay, this Kincaid picture. Now, what do you feel like? Um, Look, come here. Jerry, can you look this picture up for me? Uh, pardon me? Can you look this picture up for me? Uh, no. Why? I don't know. I'm just trying to be. No. Okay, so look at all these ones over here. Okay. There's a. There's some mud over here. Where is she? Okay. Okay, sir. Right, um, Jerry, it, Jerry, you're looking at this for this woman right here? For me. It's for that. Okay, okay. okay. the lady's right here, so you can ask her to verify it. Where did she go? It used to be right over here. What was it? It's like this little kind of cup. Oh, here, huh? Okay. I can see if I can find the teacups. Like there's, there's, there was tons of teacups earlier today, but you didn't get here. So let's see if like, there's any more pretty ones out here. Pull it up.
Over there. Yeah, it's broken. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I know. <laughs> it was a letdown. <laughs> okay, so um, as you can see, I filled up this whole little box here. And that's the price they gave me on the entire box. And I'd say that the best thing at all of this is this gal. She's the little Swedish girl that you put candles in and it's signed on the bottom whatever that says but um, I love her and as I was checking out they had already priced it and they were digging through it one more time they're like oh this is vintage and I was like well it's all vintage <laughs> but I got that little you know pinchy Santa clips onto stuff um, yeah the whole box for two dollars amazing Okay, so I wanted to just show you a little bit closer detail of what was inside this flat of Christmassy things that I got from the estate sale because I just sort of like skimmed over it really quickly. And obviously this is not enough to do an entire haul video. So I'm just going to show you real quick again here at the end. I got a pair of Noma bubble lights. Who knows if these work? I hope they do because they're pretty cool when they bubble. Again, all of this stuff total was $2. So this is my kind of sale, you know what I mean? Here's a little handcrafted type of ornament made out of the little beads. It's just pretty. Is it valuable? No, <laughs> but it's cute. This Santa candle, there he is, Santa in candlestick form. I like these little candles with people and creatures on it. It's just something that I like. This set of candlestick holders was really cool. Let me turn it so you can see them. I'm holding the box with one hand and showing you things with the other hand. So I'm sorry if this is not the most well-made haul video of all time. There you go, you see the little holly. I swear I have glasses that match these. I'm almost positive, like drinking glasses with the same holly on it. These are just some little wooden um, candlestick holders. And then of course I just got this like big mess of tacky plastic Christmas. I just love it. Why do I love this stuff so much? I don't know, but I do. I just love it so very much. I just can't resist it whenever I see it. I also got this little plastic angel. It says words on it in a language that I don't know. I don't know if you'll be, even be able to see it well enough to tell me what it says. Um, I mean, it's a little dirty, but $2 for the whole box. I showed you this little Santa guy. He's the cutest ever. He's got the little pinchy arms and these little boots. Oh, he's cute. Look at his face. Isn't he adorable? I also got this little pick or thing that used to be a pick. It's got some, some fuzz on it right now, but it's tacky plastic Christmas, you know? I really like this one. It's sparkly. I'll pick all that fur off. That's nothing. I also ended up getting this little pile of, was it Christmas seals or Easter seals or I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they're not even Christmassy at all. They're just like stamps, stamps or seals. I thought they were Christmas, but I guess they're not. There's a cheetah. Yeah, there's just a whole little pile of them. So I picked those up. Those are good little ephemera bits for ephemera packs or package toppers. You know, if I see just little bits of paper, I'm drawn to it. Uh, I got two little shiny bright bells. One is gold. One is the turquoise that I like. This, honestly, a lot of this stuff is really good for Christmas mystery boxes, which is something that I made last year. It's something I'll probably do again this year. It's just fun for me. I like making mystery boxes and I really like making Christmas mystery boxes. 
So the fact that I could get this whole palette for two bucks, honestly, all of this kind of stuff can go into mystery boxes because I paid practically nothing for it. It's not like I'm gonna lose money on any of this stuff if I throw it in a mystery box. And I know this kind of stuff is fun for other people too. Although some of it I am keeping. <laughs> like the tacky plastic Christmas garland. And then lastly, like I said, she was the crowning jewel of this whole thing. There she is. She's just this like little Swedish girl with her little ringlets, her little braided ringlets, and she's got like hair all the way around the back. I mean, it's, it's kind of coming off. She's balding a little bit, but you know, aren't we all? And it's got the spot for the candles on top and it is marked on the bottom. Like I said, I don't know what that says. I mean, good luck to anyone that could possibly make out that signature, but I don't know that it's like an actual specific artist, like an artist you could look up. I think somebody probably just made this. Um, but I love like her mid-century Scandinavian Danish modern lines to her. And I'm Swedish and these little like Swedish girl things are the types of things that I like because of that. Oh, let me fix your collar, honey. Collar was all up around your face. There she is. I just think she's cute. A little blonde hair, blue eyed Swedish girl. Isn't that what I look like? <laughs> Wouldn't you guess I'm Swedish? Like we're practically twins. No, I'm also Native American. So that kind of overpowered everything. So that's it, you guys. That is the whole box from that estate sale. Everything else was a little too pricey, to be honest with you. That's just how it was. Everything was priced retail and I think it was the first day of the sale. So I had considered going back to on 50% off day. That tends to be the day to go. I know a lot of people always wanna gasp at the prices of estate sales around here, but why wouldn't you charge full retail on the first day if it's a three or four day sale? I mean, you know you're, they're gonna mark everything down and when it gets to 50% off, that's when the resellers can go in and just sort of swoop up everything else. But on the first days, it tends to be for the collectors. And I'm okay with that too, because then I don't have to worry as much about beating the resellers if there's stuff there that I want for myself. <laughs> But you know, none of that really mattered this time. I was going just because, oh wait, there's one more thing to show you. I was going just because I had free time and I'll leave you on this adorable Santa and reindeer. It is missing one. I didn't notice that. But in circumstances where I'm gonna load up a box and they're gonna give me a price for the whole box, it kind of doesn't matter what the marked prices are of things because they gave me a good deal on a bundled box for two bucks. I left there spending two bucks, so whatever. I got out of the house, I had a kid-free moment, and I got some cute little Christmassy things. It's a win-win for me. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.